The world is a vampire. Hello and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. A very complicated name for a game that I didn't actually know if I would like going into this, but through hardships, through ridiculous glitches, um, I completed the game. I just completed it on stream about a day ago, and I wanted to try a Malkavian run. I've kind of been playing a little bit on my own. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've discovered while playing as Malkavian. I'm having a lot of fun with it, but for now, I'm going to start a new game and try and do what I did in my private playthrough, and um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So instead of answering the questions and letting the game pick for me, I am going to go directly to the character sheet. So I'm going to be doing... I believe I'm going to be doing physical, mental, social. So I'm going to do the party clown instead of um, what I was going to do as the nutty weatherman. We're going to go with Dex. Um, Charisma. Actually, we're going to go one with intelligence as well. I would do appearance, but mm, I don't need blood that bad. You know what? I'll just go find my own blood. It'll be fine. Homeless people are kind of easy targets. No offense. Okay, I'm not going to skip the intro, so you're going to have to watch through this. Um, if you've already seen it, I'll try and leave a annotation or something so you can skip it. Oh, let's begin. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community 
that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So. What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. So the one thing I am going to skip is the tutorial. <laughs> then it is floppy out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Uh, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? Wait a sec. What? Oh, it's a man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and low trade life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time to wait her out. Youngsters these days. Well, your funeral, kiddo. If you pull this off, come downtown. Sorry, to the last Bender. Round and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. Until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> So one interesting thing that I didn't notice before um, is that a lot of the characters from way late in the game actually were in that scene. So I guess the most important thing in this game is to kind of really pay attention to what's going on um, and try to remember all the characters. Mm, it's a bit hard, but... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of characters, and it's a long game. I have 45 hours in it, and I don't think I spent much of that time in a pause menu.
And also, come back and check this computer, because people give you quests, and I didn't do a lot of them. Okay, I gotta meet Mercurio. Yep. Okay. Mercurio. The game begins upon his moved. Alright. Good to know, game. Good to know. So, I guess first things first, let's go uh, get some get some Mercurial quest stuff. You, you, got, you got some change, mister? Asshole. I am the fattest piggy bank in the world, but I will not break for you. <laughs> Doesn't even know what that yeah. means. So the other thing I learned is that you can stop picking people's blood anytime. Um, I had a little bit of trouble in that. I kept killing people by doing that, so I've learned my lesson. Don't worry. And we have the funky wires going on. I'm not quite sure why they go crazy. But they're going crazy. Alright. Those mothers ripped me off. Okay. I'm dying here. Are you the fleet footed god? Oh shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. You need only open I your have... eyes. I went... Now, tell me your tale. This, oh, is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Reveal your clumsy assassins, or I will finish their task. Hippocrates? Hippocrates? Hippocrates. Hippocrates is not my forefather. Who broke God you, Mer Mercury? <laughs> Mercury. Okay. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie fricks, hit me with a bat! <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those fricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Hold on. You think I'm some amateur? Do you have the boom boom? The small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Land in a pool and Tell me where my feet must travel. Directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. I see, so I must become like the wayward whale and hit the beach. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. I'll get the boom boom and your gold, Mercury. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. Your words will be weighed, Mercury. Farewell. Okay. So. Let's go get some revenge. I'm trying to go a little bit more of a stealth route on this playthrough. 
or well, while playing as a Malkavian on my second playthrough, you could call it. So I'm going to try and do a lot of this stealthy. Um, we'll see how much that works out. I still don't know why all the wires are going a bit crazy. Through that gate and up those stairs. Ah, the demons who broke the fleet footed god. You see the twisted strings of my tomorrows. Speak more. May the moon light your twisted path, Shadow Seer. Farewell. Alright. So, if you haven't played the game before, there... I'm probably gonna spoil a few things, so just, just be wary of that. Um, first of all, that lady down at the beach is indeed a future teller of sorts. She, she can foresee the future. Um, she actually does tell you the end of the game. So I found that really interesting. When I played through a second time, there's actually a whole quote where she uh, explains what happens in the game. So what we're going to do here is turn off the power, get someone's attention. Crazy wires. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come all the way out. I'm gonna hope for the best, hope my quick save uh, doesn't betray me. And then I'm going to suck his blood. Thank you for your blood. So now, even though these lights are on, we should be able to just sneak right in there. No trouble. There is something that I kind of want in there. Don't know if I'll actually go and get it. Might not be worth it to risk it. But, we get that. That's about all I need. Okay. Okay, so my obfuscate... I don't actually know how to how to say it. Alright, so I didn't put any points into it, which means that when I move, it doesn't actually hide me, so... This is fine. I can deal with this. Oops. Goodbye, sir. That'll be all. Sweet. Skip that guy coming out to look for me. The 
apologize if the beginning is a bit slow. Probably will be like that for quite a bit um, until the game actually starts rolling. No, In the meantime, no, going to China. Yes, the future may take me where you see. The father. Is, is it the father behind him? I see the dark father and the one who stands in front of him. On the ground. Found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh god. Oh god. Run. Yes, the tomb will light up the sky. I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Look again. Perhaps I can share your dark vision. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Tell me how fate has laid the road before me. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. And not the end. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Fate holds not the reins of my destiny. Farewell. I do not have one hundred dollars, so my bad. Okay. So the thing I really liked about this game about midway through my playthrough, I found a video called a love letter to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and I had already known that it was a tabletop RPG like Dungeons and Dragons and it's pretty old I think it was like I mean at least 1999 um, but I was told by someone who plays the game that basically it's super complicated. Well, okay, not super complicated, but more complicated than what I saw at surface value, I guess. Um, so basically, I uh, kind of didn't really pay attention to a lot. I was kind of just like, oh, yeah, sure. You know, this person, that's a name, that's a funny name. I kind of thought of it as like a bit of just a parody and just a funny thing to play. Um, when in reality, it's actually like a political, uh, well, it's it's very political, I would say. Um, I can't go back out though, I don't have lockpicks yet. I mean, there's, there's sects, there's clans, there's like beliefs and stuff. And it's a lot more complicated than, ah. I seek the vault of gold. Oh man, wait! Say that again! <laughs> the density of your gray matter is flabbergasting. That wasn't me, it was one of the other voices in my head. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? You're crazier than who I see in the mirror. Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too! Don't bullshit me, man! <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh man! I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. Just wanna talk. Let's trade words, Golden Boy. Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just oh jeez, I knew you were I just could tell I Oh man, this is great! I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Ready to meet you. Oh man. Are you also Knight's Child? I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. Well, this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Oh, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! Ghoulish is as ghoulish... Wait, what is a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, Human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul. Ooh, watch out. 
And what creature spawned you, Golden Ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you, just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires over here, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Are you a happy little Golden Ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first date the vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. What makes your life move today? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission from my master. Well, hey! It's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> I have vacated the building. Alright, so basically, he's explaining that ghouls are... Uh, not quite vampires, but... They... Have been... Sucking on vampire blood? It's a bit weird. Wait your turn and you'll be seen. You'll be seeing me beyond sight. Alright, go on back. Cool. So, I found out that as a Malkavian, I get some really cool dialogue options where I can basically... Don't mind that. I can basically, um, like, Jedi mind trick people and get them to let me through to places. Or just have a peaceful resolution to a fight. The broken will be mended. Ah, my insides! It hurts so bad! Hello, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. A saintly little morsel is teetering on death's razor edge. Uh, are you sure you're in the right place? Psychiatrics are on the third floor. My vision is as clear as the murk-muddled rainwater. I have no idea what you're talking about. And to be honest, I don't have time to figure it out. I'm the only doctor here right now, and we have twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. Why is there only one doctor here? But the little angel is sliding further into that great black abyss. Listen, I think you're telling me about that girl over there, and I hear you. But right now, I have a man with a bullet hole in his head, and he needs me more than she does. Just stay with her and make sure she doesn't go into shock, and I'll be there soon. Okay. Get a cross cut in here. So as I was saying earlier, um... This game is a lot more complicated than I originally thought, and there's kind of almost no winning, um, unless you kind of just go for yourself and help yourself out the whole game as an individual. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Don't go before I rescue you, little morsel. Taste my blood and become mine. Got some humanity. Your flesh mends. You... Who, uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> the words would be a perilous poison. Farewell. Alright. Still not sure what that is. I think that's like a reference to like a person who worked on the game or something. I don't know. Don't have lockpicks. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna go get some lockpicks. Thank you for letting me through, ma'am. Trips pawn shop. And also eh, it's too obvious. Gotta get some blood eventually.
Oh, hey, hey. What? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking at a buyer, seller? I have goods that need your gold. Uh, really? Well, let me see what you got. By that, I mean I am going to sell you a watch and some estrogen. Cool, thank you. Oh, wait, I actually, I wanted to buy some lockpicks. Yeah, thanks for coming That's back. what I forgot. You sell boomsticks. Um, no, not, not really. Sorry. How much gold for your goods? All right. Here's what we got today. Uh, oh, it's 90 bucks. Can't afford it. Well, we tried. So for sake of time, I'm going to go to my best friend over here, Mercury, aka Mercurio, and tell him that I got the astrolite. And then I'm going to save. And then we'll see if I ever make a part two. Have you crossed the Dark River, Mercury? Uh, I got the boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Only those that fell on my shadow. Good. Great. I want to pay me. Did you get my money back? My hands are as empty as my head. Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. Where do my feet lead me next? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabbat interest. Who tells me where is the house of wares? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides in turbid liquids. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Spoiler alert. My Malkavian actually does call out the whole storyline with Therese and I've forgotten her name but her sister by calling them the dark daughter of Janice and if you look that up I think you can kind of make an educated guess as to what I'm talking about she and her sister Jeanette they run the asylum some freaky customers frequent that place I try not to do business there what can you tell me of the dark daughter of Janus? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who exactly? Janice's white daughter. Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What whispers? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. But anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Need you to paint me a picture Who of someone that? else. Um... How about the fleet-footed god? What's to tell? AKA you. I can get anything anyone wants at any time. They say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Tell me more of the blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Mercurio is also a ghoul. Um, I'm just gonna leave for now. Okay, so we'll let him lie there and hopefully not die. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this first part. I hope to uh, keep making them.
Let me go through this entire long story with you. Alright, so if you liked that last episode, give it a like, maybe subscribe, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. I really do hope to continue this, and I, I really like this game, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.